Subscribe to Kelichi YouTube channel for information regarding scholarships and migrating abroad through study route. Hi guys, let's talk about uh, academic CV. Normally, uh, if you are applying for a job position or vacancy, it is often desirable that you tailor your CV to that um, particular position you are applying for. Here in this case, an academic CV uh, showcases your academic talent or academic focus. If you are interested in a postgraduate study, be it MSc or uh, PhD study and even postdoctoral positions, you need an academic CV. And there is no um, one way to construct your academic CV, but there are basic sections needed in an academic CV. The, the first um, section in your academic CV is your contact details, which include your name, boldly written. So your name should have uh, two or three fonts higher than the rest of the information you have in your academic CV, followed by your contact address, your email address, and then your phone number. So I do understand that uh, some people do have like two or three email addresses or phone numbers so but it is advisable that you put the 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 phone number or the email address that is valid and you check often any other information in this section is irrelevant and could be distracting the next section is um, um pro professional summary or profile summary so this is where you concisely state in not more than 50 words, state your research interest or your academic focus. So your assessor within your academic CV should um, at, a, at, at a glance know where, what your academic focus is. So, but again, um, some students do um, have this section as research interest section. So where you can you can uh, it atomize your the, your research your area of interest like you could say um, medical mycology uh, infectious disease epidemiology so any any supervisor or any professor or any graduate school admission committee looking at it should know that oh this is your area of interest the next section is your education so um here you list the level of your education um in a reverse uh, chronological order that is in a descending order starting from the most recent so you will write by starting writing the uh, the type of degree the title of the degree the university and um the, your dissertation title or your thesis title don't forget to put the years involved in these degrees then you could put your grades that is your final grades if you graduated with first class third class distinction merit consider putting them here the next section is your research and technical skills so um, consider putting the technical skills or research skills that are relevant to the program you are applying for. Remember previously I said that um, just like a job CV, you will tailor your CV to the uh, position or the vacancy you are applying for. So for academic CV, you try as much as possible to tailor your academic CV to that uh, course or that program you are applying for. So here in the section of uh, research or technical skills is where you will impute your your, your research skills such as uh, you could say uh, you are you have good knowledge of uh, Microsoft Office, including MS Word, uh, Excel, or uh, PowerPoint, or you have you are proficient um, in uh, Stata. SPSS. So you know your course, you know the skills you have gained so far prior to making your application. Next is um, research experience. Do some students do meet this with their 
work experience section however if you have a broad um, research experience consider um splitting some sections into smaller bits like having um, a research experience separately from your work experience section then um in this section you will write the title of the research project the university the date and your supervisor then using action words you describe your your achievements your duties and the skills you gained on this project talk about you investigated analyzed or performed because yeah every uh, grad school uh, admission committee is interested to know your your research interest your res your, your academic focus because you will not be applying for a program in biochemistry or a position in biochemistry with um, a degree in engineering then um the next uh section is your academic awards and scholarship if you had previously won uh, an award any academic award like uh, being the best graduating student in your department or the uh, best graduating student in a particular subject consider putting it here then again if maybe you had won any scholarship no matter the amount this is the section you will put it you can uh, go ahead to give a brief description and the monetary value of the scholarship like say a one-time award of 20,000 naira during my um, undergraduate um, degree talk about the the name of the award what the award is all about the date of the award this section is publication uh, slash presentation so uh, if you have for fresh graduates if you have not had any publication it is okay it is fine don't feel intimidated um it is not an end road for you but however in this section you can uh, decide to put your any any form of presentation you have had previously maybe you presented an article in your department even your final year um project that you defended that yeah that's it that can also serve as a presentation consider putting it here for though then for people that have already um published um a program you can you will write you can write as many as you want that are so relevant to that um program you applying for so starting with the name name of the authors the year title of that paper then the journal name for authors if there are multiple authors you will list them then in a bold font you will then write your name so make your name to to appear a uh, clearer than other authors next after uh, publication is uh, professional development certificates so if you have had any professional uh, training so you know this is where you will itemize them then again if you had uh, enrolled for any online course like i said in uh, my previous video that um when i was talking about ways that you can gain um, skills or experience that can help you boost your academic cv when i talked about some platform like future learn or coursera so if you had undertaken any online courses so this is where as well you will list those courses then the next is your work experience so uh, you can whether if you, if you don't have uh, for fresh graduates if you don't have any work experience that is paid um, employment if you don't have it you can skip this section so but if you are um, uh, lucky to have it you can have this as a separate section so like i said before some people can combine you can have the, the work the research experience under the work experience that is using their research experience as their work experience so anyhow you want to structure your academic cv the choice is yours 
then after the work experience is your professional membership so if you belong to any professional affiliation like um organizations like the nigeria medical association veterinary council of nigeria american association of for Bi microbiology so any professional affiliation you you belong to um this is uh this is the section we will list them you will start by your position in that organization the name of the uh, organization the validity of that organization that is let's say you join in 218 you write it 218 to so 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 year or 218 to present if you are the member member the name of the organization the the validity next is um community development and volunteering section if you had participated in any community development services or uh, volunteering uh, activities maybe you have um in the past you have uh, volunteered with an organization or a company consider consider having this section in your academic cv again this um section is also important for uh scholarship applicants yeah because uh, some scholarship bodies give preference to applicants that have undertaken or have participated in different community development services so next is your english language proficiency um here you put any languages both foreign languages that you can speak particularly if you had taken um any standardized uh, language test like IELTS, uh, TOEFL, ATC, you state it, then write the level of your fluency or proficiency. Yeah, because uh, most of these uh, standardized tests for foreign languages do have do categorize um, level of fluency. I think from A1 to C2. Yeah, um, and again, um, being a uh, multilingual is very uh, important for some scholarship or some program that involves international activities like a program um, such as um, public relation however if you don't have if you don't know how to speak multiple languages if it's not an end rule for you use other section of your academic cv to supplement for that because every section in your academic cv has its points the final section is your preference so people do ask me if it is necessary to put it to put the details of their referees or just put on demand that is right references then on demand i don't see anything bad in you putting the details of your referees so you can have uh, like two referees on your academic cv having your referees details listed out on your academic cv me to me personally it makes your cv appear more authentic so you can have uh two academic cv or uh, academic um references that is your your undergraduate or msc lecturers or supervisor then again um you can have either one academic referee or professional one then one a professional referee that is if you are lucky to be employed at the time of your application then if you are not you can include two academic referees so guys that is it for academic cv um for for fresh graduates don't feel intimidated um there is no one way to how you construct your academic cv just aim at imputing the sections the basic sections that are applicable to your level if you have any question you can put that in the comment section you mustn't come to my dm to ask your questions yeah because you asking your questions in your in the comment section helps other viewers to learn as well i believe you have liked the video share to your friend share to your networks bye for now